All right, good evening, folks. How are you? Uh, Saturday night, 30th July. So just about to kick into that magic month, we hope. Um, but yeah, light hearted show tonight, guys. All right, we've got a couple of guests here, and we're just going to um, have a laugh. And I've called a couple of people in because, you know, considering pretty good friends, and I've got producers in the back show there because, um, like, this could be maybe my last show, um, second last show. We might rate it as the second last show. And, um, yeah, that being I'm guilty of something and I'm uh, I'm pretty good at what I'm guilty of. I'm guilty. Guilty. You know that song? Play it in the background, I know that song. Alice Cooper. So we've got uh Red Pill Phil. Glenn. Red Pill. How are you, buddy? Glenn. You? And we have Amanda. I'm good, mate. All right. I'll just turn my volume up. So Guys, Saturday night, we um, last Saturday night, we uh, done a show, yeah, and tonight we're just going to have a laugh, guys, all right? That's what it's about. We just want to um, lift everyone's spirits because us three sitting here and the people in the background of the studio all know that uh, some good times are coming after the hard times. We're watching a lot of stuff go uh, go down, so we're going to um, just bring in some clips. Now, why I said my second last show, people, is because... This is a sin I'm guilty of, and I may not be here tomorrow. So I'm just going to bring in the first one. Fabulous news. Being sarcastic put you at greater risk of heart attack, Doc's warm. So, people, I'm in trouble, mate. Because I'm one of the most sarcastic people around here, I can assure you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, we just thought that that was pretty funny. And what we've done is we've just lined up. Well, a heap of headlines that these people are spruiking out there. Now, there's only five corporations, okay, that run the media, folks. Okay, five corporations. So we're going to have a look at what they're putting out here because, you know, we're not supposed to be serious here tonight, but just a quick thing is um, when criminals do things or when bad people do things, they always throw something out to cover up what they've done. Okay, and to take people's minds off it. And that's probably what the show, the normie show tonight is about. So we're going to whip into a few of them and then we're going to have to stop and contain ourselves because we are going to start cracking up, guys. Okay, so, yeah, let's let's just step into it and then I'll let you come in. So, okay, Amanda, how are you? How are you going down there? Yeah, I'm getting there. Better introduce you. <laughs> yeah, you're getting there? Good. And Glenn, Glenn's just up above me. Most of you know Patriot 101. Okay, so yeah, he's uh, he's come on because I just need some friends around in case I might not even make it through the show, guys. You know, if I get too sarcastic, that could be it could be all over. So let's have a look at a few of them. So fabulous news, right? Being sarcastic, greater risk of heart attack. So I, I'm going to be careful. <laughs> next one. Too hard. Yeah, the next one is um is dying to lead so how uh actually research proves that and we've seen this one once before on the show but yeah that getting to the top can kill you sooner okay so <laughs> what you're going to see is that we've covered every avenue of life here folks so guys just come in with a comment when you want i don't think there's any lag tonight i think we're pretty good on um on actually audio next one so the shower habit that could precipitate a heart attack in the healthy. What do you reckon that one might be, Glenn? <laughs> oh, I really have no words for that. That's, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Well, Amanda, you know what that one's about, Amanda? Uh, no, it's it's uh, definitely an interesting one. Just to, yeah, no. Okay, well, I thought, it might have been, I thought it might have been something to do with scrubbing your hair too hard, you know what I mean, with your hands above your head, could give you a heart attack. No, no, I think I'm wrong. The producers <laughs> yeah. tell me it's masturbation. <laughs> well, it wasn't going to go there. But uh, extracurricular. So there you go. Uh, now, I agree with this one. The drink that could tr trigger sudden heart cardiac arrest it's catastrophic. Well, it's the uh, energy drinks, and folks, we shouldn't be drinking them, okay? Yep. So, yeah, we've Rubbish. slipped that one in. But, again, you know, these guys have been promoting these drinks. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. you know we can't go and buy airtime, Glenn, if we want to, or Amanda, and get on a commercial radio and, and sell our story. Well, those those drinks are the boosters. If you don't take the booster, you see, you can go to the server oh. and get your booster again. Ah. Oh. 
it. Okay. You got Can't your wait. nojos. Yeah. Uh, all right. Huh. My favorite one, Red Bull gives you wings. Okay, yeah. well, Glenn, you live in Helensburg, and that's a pretty nice sort of place, so you might have to get yoga classes together because if people breathe too many times in one day, that could also raise your risk of deadly heart attack. So... <laughs> Have they got a have they got a figure on how many times you should breathe? Is it been, is it been some sort of statistic put out there? You know, like you could do a, maybe you got to wear a breath counter now. Maybe they'll come up with a yeah a rapid answered antigen breathing test. Breathing test, yeah, that you have yeah. to wear all day. Yeah, just Might make sure mask. you're not like yeah, yeah, yeah. in the mask. Yeah. Yeah. The mask it. That's it. That's that's beautiful. Yeah. What happens if you get to the end of the day, right, and it's like nearly midnight, and the and the clock's going to tick, and like. You realise that you're nearly out of breaths and you still got friggin' twenty minutes to go. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine with the way this is carrying on, we're going to get to a society where we're so scientifically evolved that they're going to be able to measure how many beats our heart has from the moment we're born and go, right, this is how many heartbeats that you have. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like me, too many heartbeats, too much sarcasm. I, I don't, my social credit score goes down. Yeah. Every my, time my, you get tasted, you lose three beats. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay. My biggest, right concern is, my biggest concern is people are buying this. Yeah. This, people are buying this, Glenn. That's my people point. That's exactly my point, Glenn. They are buying this. Now, men who perceive marriage as unsuccessful are at a higher risk for premature death. You know, oh, like, God. This faction with married life raises the risk of dying from a, I can tell you what it is, heart-related issue. It's another <laughs> heart-related issue. How come we're having all these heart attacks all of a sudden? God, I don't understand. It's almost yeah. Yeah. Heart attacks is earthquakes around the world at the moment. It's like, it's it's just like the new norm, isn't it? Like, yeah. just have a heart attack. Let's have a have seizure. A Maybe we can have seizure parties. Sudden, sudden death in adults, it's a new thing. <laughs> Get your booster and go to a heart attack party. Uh. <laughs> okay. Now, being unmarried, Glenn, this one affects you, mate. Being unmarried is associated with a higher risk of death in heart failure patients. And this is like, yeah, this is recent. So when I looked at this, I'll just go down here a bit, right, and it says... Um, Unmarried heart failure patients appear less confident in managing their condition and more socially limited compared to their married counterparts. According to, listen to this, to research presented today at Heart Failure 2022, a scientific, a scientific congress of the European Society of Cardiology. Uh, do, you, guys, do I feel a heart attack coming on? <laughs> Hang on a minute. I'd like to ask them a question. Does it does it mean something different if you've been married and you're not married now? Uh, I, I think you're doomed that. either way. The way they're going, you're doomed for a heart attack whether you're married or not. <laughs> you you tell me how's your heart feel and how many breaths do you had today? Yeah, I don't know. I lost count of about <laughs> ten thousand. You know, like couldn't keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Now I found out why I got elderly women hanging around my boat down here when the wife goes out because lonely older women are at greater risk of heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. People so, work, and people really work for these corporations that they call the media and they lock their jobs. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, I, I hope that they get paid an obscene amount of money to be able oh, to promote this crap. <laughs> oh, this is insane. You wait. You, you're like, you, got, you haven't seen anything yet. Okay. Now, yeah, getting divorced will make you sick and even lead to early death. Well, we did see this one before. But, again, you know, probably come out of this symposium. But, uh, yeah. Now, this is, yeah, Aussies. We got to yeah. be careful, all right? Yeah. So frequently eating meals prepared away from home linked to increased death risk. Everything in life, oh, yeah. I don't know what's out there that's changed in the society, but there's something that just keeps leading to death out there. Is there any um? Is there any posts about anything pharmaceutical being dangerous to you, causing sudden yeah. death? 
I just would have thought there would have been something about right. pharmaceutical as well. I don't know. Now, now we search very hard for that, Glenn, and like, yeah. you know, like, sorry, buddy, I'm about to bust your bubble. Oh, damn. Maybe, yeah, um, maybe, maybe Fauci's right, you know? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Well, that's what we're here to do, isn't it? To put out maybe the options. Maybe that's what's causing the deaths and not, you know what? Yeah, you just know? too many takeaways. Too many takeaways and, and being single. Yeah. And of course, you're away from home and it took a lot more breaths to get there and back again to wherever you went. So you're running out of air again, too. So you've only got so many breaths. <laughs> anyway. It's a lot to think about in the day when you get up, you know? I know. I know. I'm confused. Now, heart attack, the healthy diet <laughs> that may increase your risk of having a heart attack. So you can't eat healthy, neither. You can't no. eat away from home, but no. don't you dare freaking eat healthy. Because, yeah. <laughs> and don't be healthy and be sarcastic about it neither, because then you're really oh, fucked. You, you got to be careful. You're on the borderline of sarcasm right now. You could get a pain <laughs> down your arm any minute. The yeah. Express just uh, kicked majority of my generation in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, oh, oh, you, so, so, did you hear oh, that? That's the sound of half of Victoria screaming right now. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. Does skipping breakfast in <laughs> increase your risk of heart attack also? You know, like, uh, uh, the last no, concrete no, no, is the other cool, half. Right? We do that. Um, okay. Now, I don't know if I'm going skiing this year, Glenn, but if you're going skiing this year, Amanda, I just want you to be aware that if you're shoveling snow, it can be a very deadly way to discover underlying cardiovascular conditions well, and straining the heart with physical activity could suddenly cause sudden death. Well, I'm going to go oh. snowboarding. I'm going snowboarding, but I'm taking the excavator. So... Right. Oh, you're all right. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, got a, hey, you're on a snow, yeah. I, I'm, thinking less effort. I'm thinking less effort. I'm just going to melt the snow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you can just see from just the take headline, a little blowtorch. Yeah. We, we haven't just gone to one outs at one source here, even though they're all owned by four, five corporations. These no. are just different things around the world, okay? And um, it's it's just like, it's like, here we go. Now, the study published in Forensic Science, Medicine and Pathology found the soups demonstrated significant toxicity to the cells, even though the soups were watered down. So these are herbal soups, may cause liver damage and interact with medication, the study finds. That's those medications that we can't find on here, Glenn. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. There you isn't, this go. Why, isn't this why they were um, cautious about who mixed your teas back in like um, 17th, 18th century England? Because yeah, well, you can slip to, stuff into your tea. Yeah. They used, they used to blow smoke up people's asses too, you know that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. why are we trusting them to mix our spices and herbs already ready for us pre-packaged then? Yeah. I reckon that maybe they've got to bring back the smoke thing. Yeah, yeah. I think they're still blowing it up their ass by the look at this, Glenn. <laughs> bring back okay. the so, okay, do you live under a flight path? Because, like, if you live under a flight path, you may be at risk of a heart attack, and the study finds the rates are 70% higher in the noisiest areas. So, again, people, I don't know what you're going to do, but if you're living underneath the flight path, you are not only going to get chemtrailed and sprayed, you are just going to have a heart attack. Sounds like there's going to well, be a lot of heart attacks. This sounds like there's going to be a lot of heart attacks happening. Oh, well, yeah. Something's giving me that sign. It must be the um, it must be the season for heart attacks. That, so uh, what, what's changed? I mean, this is point. really strange. I just come across all these clips. I'm trying to work out what could have happened out here in the environment that all these people are dying of heart conditions. What in the hell no is idea. going on out there? No I mean, idea. No. We'll, we'll look. At, we'll look a bit further. See if we can work it out. Because, like yeah, you yeah. know, we got a little bit of intelligence here. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe. Really? Oh, wow. We're all cursed. Single dad. Did you say they were lying? Glenn, did That's you say they again. were lying? That's me again. Did you I'm say lying. mainstream media was lying? They're 
<laughs> no, you, Glenn. I would never imply that. I thought the mainstream media was the most, you know, like they're, they're right on I the mean, ball. Yep. Glenn, they, I don't want my channel. Can... I don't want my channel ripped down before we even get the show going, mate. You know, with statements like that, they'll rip us straight yeah, down, I mate. Know, you know, like, come I on. Know. Yeah. I know. So rip it. Okay, Sorry. Glenn, this affects you. This affects you, buddy. Single dads are at a higher risk of early death. It's a worrying new news for single dads. I'm going to it get is on in that Canada. Bit. It is in Canada at the moment, but hey, it could travel with the foot and mouth, and we never know. It could get here quick. Okay. Okay. It's time to write the will. I think it's time to write the will. <laughs> Darren Elliott says he plays the drums, and he's got, is he going to have a heart attack? Well, we'll find out. We're about to find out. We'll keep a very close eye on you, Darren. <laughs> so, physical activity. Increased heart go. attack risk. There you go, status. Darren. There's your Darren. answer. There's your answer, Darren. Uh, You've got to play them drums a little bit lighter. That's yeah. it. Yeah, less effort. So a new finding is do not outweigh healthy benefits of exercise, as researchers emphasise. But physical activity, folks, there must be, what is there a lot of, is there a lot of sports people dying or something out there? Is this what the physical activity might relate it to you guys know anything about that is there people dying that are playing will, sport or anything i believe maybe i read the a snowflakes yeah. maybe the snowflakes are finally melting <laughs> yeah i believe i saw just really hmm. okay you did glenn okay. oh yeah well, sorry well, if you yeah like okay. about four or five hundred or something of them it's unusual well, but, i only yeah. saw yeah, well, I saw 108 FIFA registered players. They all dropped, but uh, I mean, I did, you know, that's only 108. Yeah, that's normal. That's, yeah, that's normal. probably that's normal like, for athletes. If athletes drop, hey, maybe, maybe normal. while we're talking, maybe we should look a bit further into this, guys, because I think something fishy's going on out there. I've never seen I, so many people dying of heart attacks. I've yeah. never seen so many, so many irregularities all throughout, whether it's the heart attacks or whether it's just the job vacancy increase. I couldn't think of anything at all over the last two oh, five no, years no, that no, could we have got caused it. that. Got, Not at all. Got, we got unvaxxed immigrants coming into the country to fill the job vacancies. You can knock that out. That's just not – that's all filled <laughs> up. That's gone. Yeah. Got that covered. Uh, yep. yep. Anyway, Glenn, be careful getting from the truck to the excavator, mate. That's exercise, okay? It could be temperamental. Yeah, yeah. I'll try and now, park there. Made it nice and close to the truck, so I was open the door. I can step onto it. <laughs> okay. Now, laughing may be an early sign of fatal condition, and when to visit your GP. So, oh dear God, no matter you're what, you're struggling to stop die. yourself from laughing or crying in appropriate situations. It could be a sin. And so if anyone's sitting at home there busting your chops over what we're talking about, you need to shut the show down, ring the friggin' doctor, right, and get yourself looked at because this yeah. is not funny. You need to get if a rapid feel, That's right. If you, if you feel like Barbie did during Toy Story, now is the time to call your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe we can start selling defibrillators. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly the pedo guy. van's gone and the messaging's okay. changed from free candy Oop. to free defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. 12 volt, Get your free shock here. 12 volt, 12 volt Barbie with a different meaning. She's actually got a defibrillator. <laughs> it's going to be a council regulation and everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we got hotter nights are going to increase the risk of death from heart disease for men in early 60s. Like, oh, my God. God. Hey, guys, an aspirin a day keeps a heart attack at bay. Please remember that. <laughs> oh, wow. I know I'm, I'm in the 60, I'm 61. So, guys, I'm right in the category, man. I'm a bit worried now. And I'm sarcastic and I try new healthy. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I think we're all screwed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone's Karen's always in a, in a bad situation. And uh, can we get someone to Karen's place because she's still laughing Dangerous. and she needs a doctor quick? <laughs> quick, call triple zero. Karen needs paramedics. 
She needs some more laughing gas. <laughs> I can never get it. Hey, no people laughing, are reading yeah. this and they're buying it. They're buying it. You know, well, like, you're not laughing, right? No more laughing. You'll die. All right. Okay. Oh, um, that heart attack's asleep, getting stronger. Falling asleep with the TV on could bring early <laughs> death study. Um, okay, another one out of this symposium, I suppose. But yeah, like we just well, need timers, me. Glenn. Maybe we we maybe we sell timers as well as um, yeah. uh, defibrillators, mate. You know, like falling asleep you with know the tell he's going to go off before you fall asleep. Falling asleep yeah. with the ABC yeah. on. There's a big market here. What we got going on there? Okay, so if, well, your blood thickens and then clots, and that's what extreme heat can do to your body. So, again, what are we having a bit of blood clot issue out there in the society or something? I'm not, I, I don't understand. We we had a lot of heart issues, and now we've got some blood thickening. And cl- is, is that a common thing? Now, is, is people eating the wrong food out there? Glenn, do you know what's going on? They're going out too. Much. I think maybe we should be taking ice baths constantly through summer ah. to make sure this yeah. happens. Yeah, I, I definitely okay. think that we should be looking into blood thinners at this point. What what's yeah. going to break away the clots and make it easier for the blood? Yeah, yeah. Oh, like I, wonder who owns, I wonder who owns Wolfram, the blood thinner. That would be a Rockefeller, would it? And, well, no, it wouldn't would it? Couldn't show it. No, I don't. I don't, no, I don't go there. No, I, I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. No, Someone that's re- conspiracy re- land. No. Yeah, someone research Rockefellers and pharmaceuticals out there for me if you can, because I'm not really sure on that one. Come on, Guru, you got to trust okay, the science. Okay. Mate. You've got to trust the science. Come on, mate. Okay. Yeah. Well, the science science says that sleeping with the light on is linked to higher risk of heart disease and diabetes. So. <laughs> 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 Thomas Edison would be shocked. <laughs> Exposure to artificial light at night worsens glucose and cardiovascular regulation, research suggests. Oh, it only suggests it because it got paid a billion friggin' dollars to suggest it. <laughs> so your light increases your sugar. I hate to tell you this, guys. A few of you are losing the Go get your globes checked, ladies and gents. You never know if an unhealthy <laughs> globe will set off your sugar. Okay. If you get a night light, <laughs> you little concentration. If you get a night oh, light, you're, a child, you're killing your child slowly with a night light. All right, no more night lights for children. <laughs> Uh, we got one hell of a job when we win this thing, eh, guys? I, I, you know, just, oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Just educating people, not the sleep of the light on is going to be hard enough. Oh, that's the shit bucket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't sleep with your light on. It'll help the burglars. Okay, now, in the UK, in the UK, in the UK all right, you need to be very careful because it's daylight savings time and, Moving clocks forward an hour could be dangerous for millions of Brits with serious heart problems. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> Turns up to work. I'm an hour late. Oh, I really don't understand. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get me composure. Oh, oh, this is gonna get me right now. Just think of all the all the people that just suddenly go through a stroke or a heart attack because they're like, <laughs> I'm an hour late. Oh shit! The kids are in a hell of late. I'm an hour late. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Can you understand? Oh, leave yourself alone and make sure you don't set that clock too late. What? Oh, shoot, I'm an hour late for my study. I've just suddenly gotten a case of the SADS. Excuse me. <laughs> it's summer. Take an ice bath right now. All right. So, and if you haven't got enough to think about, experts warn certain sleeping positions could increase the risk of blood clots and heart problems, and it's friggin' fact-checked. <laughs> The, the fact checkers said in court that they were just opinion based. 
No, that's fact check. Oh, that's not really true. Uh, it must be true. It must be true. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, warn, experts warn certain sleeping positions could increase. Oh, hello. Make sure you're the biggest spoon, people. This kid calls a conga line of fact checkers. For sure. Well, we all yeah. better test the theory, shall we? Yeah, and if you're used to having a daytime nap, all right, it's going to increase your stroke risk, people. So just do not do it. No more daytime naps, okay? Oh, okay. my God, so it's four kindergartners. Hey, who knows? The thing with taking a daytime nap, I'm telling you, right, is that you don't know how many bloody breaths you've taken. No. And you no, could have no. wasted a heap of them. You could you get sudden heart failure from not counting your breaths properly. That's exactly right. Exactly. Oh, my God, all the people with anxiety are screwed. Now, Lack of ventilation. Now, <laughs> solar storms may cause up to 5,500 heart-related deaths in a given year. Now, that's a good way to cover a few deaths, isn't it? Like, it's a solar uh, storm. Yeah. Uh, oh, well. Hang on. Hang on. Has anyone worked out what out there in the society could be causing all these, like, well, deaths yet? You've got news. Not got at news. all. It says, it says new scientist at the top there, so this guy's a new scientist. It wow. sounds like it could be a new magazine. Maybe Another we email him. Maybe that. we email him. We could email this guy and tell him that there's a problem out there and he may have to look at it. Tell him we think he's um, it's coming true, what he's saying, because a lot of people seem to be dropping dead from heart attacks. Ask him if he does paperbacks for if we all run out of toilet paper. No, I uh, no, no, this is just no, no, you guys are off your fucking cheek. Oops, excuse me. We're gonna keep this clean. You guys are off your that's conspiracy shit, isn't it? But what if you wrapped your umbrella in foil, maybe that'd probably stop the solar flare from hitting you and causing a heart attack. I'm gonna work go. on a nice new house. There you go. See, we're here for solutions, folks. Glenn's just giving it to you. Next clip. Okay, so up to 300,000 people facing heart-related disease. That heart again, guys. I don't know. Illness due to post-pandemic stress disorder. Oh, really? So what the globalists have put us through, now we're going to have 300,000 people facing heart-related issues due to the PTSD? stress that they cause us. PTSD. You think they might come up with a vaccine for heart attack soon? <laughs> It seems like someone's putting a lot of stuff together here to add up a heap of numbers to cover a heap of deaths or something. Oh, I can't say I that. Know. No, come on, Guru. Seriously. No, they wouldn't do that? No, no, you no. might. No. Why would they okay. do no. they, they wouldn't be trying to predict the possible deaths that are about to happen at all, no. They just wanted, they just wanted the 800 million just to happen gradually, just naturally. The 800, mm -hmm. down from what their population is now to 800 million. They said, I just want it to happen naturally. No, that's what they I'm glad you guys are here because if you guys weren't here, I'd be thinking something sinister was going on out oh, there. Yeah, well, not at I, all. I can see why okay. you would. But yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> we believe um, in the Dave, science. Oh. oh, Glenn, look, I found one, Glenn. I found one. Daily use of paracetamol raises the risk of heart attack. <laughs> Good thing I'm advising people to use aspirin. <laughs> I think we may have covered the aspirin side too, I'd say. Thank you, Dr. Shooty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, you've you got your energy bills going up that high, folks, right? The, the hike's going to be that big that energy bill price oh, rise okay. may cause heart attacks and strokes, <laughs> says the TV GP. <laughs> Like, there you go. Stress causes heart failure. Jesus. Tell us uh, something we don't know. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on out there, Amanda. I'm confused. There's something happening out there we don't know about. People are dying. Uh, the only thing I can think of could possibly involve a very interesting little contraption that may or may not have a metal bit that's used to penetrate something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I need to look more into it. Are you a member does. of the local archery club? Oh, it'd be getting kind of close because it's a pretty neat little lame on it. Like darts. Darts. You're a dart player. You're a dart player. 
It does look a bit like a dart, but kind of not. There's a nice little oh. bit that goes in and out, a bit like a motor piston. Okay, let's have a look. We'll see if we can find it. Is it with the name Maxine? No, it wouldn't run with the name Oh, right. Okay, maybe. No, it can't be because look at this. You're talking about like vaccine and stuff. It's not at all. Shaking the duvet too vigorously while making your bed can increase your chances of heart attack, sinus. Well, and you guys are talking about some bullshit thing you put in your arm. It's here. It's a doona. I was trying to tell people this years ago, Guru. I was trying to tell them years ago that's what happens when you shake your doona too hard. You know what? Well, I've got a dare. Right. I've listening. got a dare. Shake your duvet. Right. Yeah, well, you can't. All right, you've been told because the science told you you can't shake it. Go anymore. and shake it and tell me if you're still breathing at the end. <laughs> oh, no way. That's going to that's gonna waste breath. I'm not doing that. I'm not even shaking it ever again. I'm going to keep them breaths. Now. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> infertility, heart failure, and kidney disease. <clears throat> How climate change. We found it. Oh, we might have found it. the reason. It's climate change. Oh, 100%. It's freaking climate change, you goose, and you're carrying on. Okay, climate change. Didn't they just admit that it's not real? Did you know that, like, the water level raised a millimeter in Fort Denison? Wait, I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely gobsmacked. One millimeter. How many heart attacks attacks did that cause? Have you looked yet? It would have caused loads of heart attacks. Well, it has has lately, anyway. Okay, well. Um, Green fingers. Okay. So, urgent warning to all gardeners out there: as soil increases, the risk of killer heart disease. So, this is why they're getting the rid of the fertilizer. Maybe it's the stuff they. Maybe they've been helping us with our garden, spraying that stuff down, and that like, and then like, yeah. All right. Yeah. It sounds like a bit of a shitty situation, guys. Yeah, yeah I think they might have been. <laughs> They're helping the, helping the garden. They're making the garden grow better by spraying the stuff out of them planes. Yeah, they're, they're totally helping the uh, fertiliser that you have to lay down under government regulations to help the government government grown and seed of crops with the government this, induced air and rain. Yeah, that I sounds this totally safe to eat. I heard of a conspiracy theory that they wanted to make fertilizers out of people. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. But anyway. Ugh. Up to 300,000 people. 300,000 people facing heart related illness due to post pandemic stress disorder again. Well, so that's just from another source, folks. Okay. Like, stress. unbelievable. They're getting these numbers up there. There must be a lot of people. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look. It is happening uh, in sport, man. It's just a coincidence, Guru. Look, My, the Daily Mail said so. Yeah, but it says do not panic, all right? Don't panic that your mates are dropping around you because it's not going to happen to you. Oh, all yeah, right? no, especially since it's not. It, it's only happening to 20s and 30s year old. As long as you're below your 20s and above your 30s, you're fine. Yeah, man, it's normal for it to happen in the hundreds of athletes, hundreds at a time. It's happened for the last year or so yeah exactly it's the new normal the new normal i'm glad you guys are here man because i was thinking so much different to what you guys are telling me i was really thinking there was something sinister going on out there i was going to go and contact one of these soccer clubs no 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 no. No. i did hear they're making uh i I think they're making another version of the purge though oh okay yeah yeah Yeah. Okay. Righto. Climate change is now. Okay. We've got to stop swimming. Glenn, we can't go to the beach, mate, because signs have an explanation why there's an increase of shark attacks off our east coast, mate. And it's climate change. That, yeah. That'll do, it, that'll do it every time, I believe. Like, 100% the climate change is the problem. You uh, see him says people can enjoy that. <laughs> yeah. Well. I'll have to keep an eye out around the boat. What have we got there? Uh, climate change could hurt babies' hearts, a study says. Heart and pregnancy, heat and pregnancy do not mix. High temperatures just don't make a pregnant woman uncomfortable. 
that it can actually hurt the healthy health of a baby. And with climate change, this will probably become a bigger problem. Can we think of anything at all that has been provisionally approved for pregnant women and kids between zero to six months old at all? Can we at all? No. Short answer. Have they changed the baby formula or something? Yeah, no, it could be the baby formula. It could be. No, um... the Chinese are stealing it. <laughs> Maybe they're giving us something in return. No, you're thinking a bit sinister there, mate. Come on. No, they're going to sell it back to us and steal it again. <laughs> okay, so heat waves around the world are getting that intense that scientists say the temperatures are getting hotter faster than their tools can calculate. Now, Glenn. Well, I don't know about you, but yeah, I've I just, got a thermom- I got this thing called a thermometer, mate, that actually reads temperature. You got you got anything as simple as that or not? Well, I would have changed the wording of that faster than the tools can calculate. <laughs> the tools that are calculating it. Yeah, the tools that are calculating it. You know, like, not the tools they're using to calculate it. I think that's okay. a misprint. I think that's a misprint. <laughs> So climate change is making it harder for couples to conceive. Um, UCLA Uh, research finds warming temperatures have a negative effect on fertility birth rates. Now, when I was a young kid and it was pretty warm weather, I knew, you know, uh, Glenn, sorry. I used to have my dad say We were having a go at fertilizer. (laughs) I'm pretty sure that's, uh, yeah, well, that's, that's, it's possible, mate. Yeah. That's it, so I yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that could work. But there's I think yeah, I'm seriously thinking that we have to look outside for something that's changed out there, guys. I really do. I think I know you're seems... trying to put me you know, you're trying to tell me there's nothing wrong here, but this is just too much media for me. It's like starting to like maybe think you two guys don't know what you're talking about and I'm onto something here. No, something. well yeah. haven't said that conspiracy. You could be onto something, Guru. I think. Let's have yeah, a look. Yeah, you, you do have you do have something there. I guess there we should really trust the change. science, though. But I did see something from America on it. There seems to be a pattern. Okay. Well, apparently this climate change again, because climate change—you don't want to be near the ocean, folks, because like you'll get flooded out because the seas levels are going to raise really hard. And that's why Nancy Pelosi just about 12 months ago bought a $25 million house in um, Florida on the beach. And I think that's why uh, Obama lives at Ma- uh, Martha's Vineyard, isn't it? Martha's Vineyard, yeah. I think. Yeah, surrounded by water. Well, of course they'd buy there if the water level was going to go up by a few metres, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, well, because... Anyway, yeah. I can only believe the science. Climate change's adverse effects on the health starts in the womb, a study finds. So climate hazards, including rising temperature, pollution and wildfires. I've heard something about wildfires too. Are increasing the risk of preterm birth. Have you seen the funny um have you seen the funny planes that look like they're trying to put out the fire but there's a flame coming out of the plane? Hmm. That's and the one called reverse technology, I think. And, and the ones that look like they're trying to put out the fire with a laser. You seen them planes? They're going over and they're yeah, hitting. Yeah, they got a laser that's got a flame on it that like actually sucks up the other flame or something. Oh, it must be something like that. I don't know. Like, but it doesn't seem like they're. It seems like they're missing all the time. They're going in front of the fire, up and down. You know, like, and it seems the fire just get bigger as they do it. They're not doing a job properly. They're not doing their no. job. Glenn, will you be saying that they're incompetent or they're actually lighting fires with these weapons? The weapon. Oh, I didn't oh. say weapons. Did I say weapon? Yeah, oh, that's what it. That, that's what it may look like, but I can't imagine they'd be doing that. I think it's some sort of thing that they just don't know what they're doing with it. You know, like they've got a laser and the laser's okay. supposed to fire out, but it's making the fire bigger. I don't get it. You know, like these guys have got to work harder on this. But that being maybe said, Maybe it's this a, dra- a drone with an electrical fault. Could be, yeah, maybe, yeah. We could, yeah, give them the chance to explain. Maybe they'll tell us the truth. Okay, okay. so now... The heat waves around the world are connected, the scientists say, and I think they've connected them by a big fan. Glenn, they've put up a big fan right. and they've blown the hot air right around the world with a fan and they've, like, connected us all. So now they'll be able to spread bacteria here and blow it around the world with a fan and just keep it, like, so they're pretty good, eh? 
Oh, that's that must be a huge fan that would have taken a bit of time to build. I'm that. glad the general population is getting this sort of information that we aren't getting because I mean, this is like interesting stuff, eh? That they're reading and learning. It's like, it looks accurate. That's like when, when it made you really scared when you saw the big viral spore on the back of the TV behind the mainstream media. You know, the big viral spore got bigger each time they broadcast it. And I was like, yeah, this, this is a big virus, man, because look at the size of that viral spore. I mean, the, fans, the fan's bigger than Earth. It must have took a while to get that freaking fan up there. Yeah. Might have been, oh. been there all along. So if the heat waves all around the world are all connected, are they connected by our farts like Klaus Schwab thinks and that's why he wants to tax us? No, it's a cows. It's always been no. a yeah. No, it's a cow. he it's a cow. says that it's the cows, but do they yeah. think that we're cattle too? Didn't I hear that Davos conference right? Yeah, and if you add up all the ants, it could be part, partly the ants as well. See, because on this mainstream media here, <laughs> you, can't, you can't see the other bit on this mainstream video? But there's actually a cow jumping over the moon in the other <laughs> bit. Well, we cut that out because we didn't want people to see that. Yeah. I thought that was a conspiracy. Is there any videos out there of an ant farting? I don't know. That'd be a good one, right? <laughs> an ant farting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's different, isn't it? little yeah. puff of duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this. The, hey, Glenn, Amanda, yeah. I worked out why they're putting that stuff in the sky. Oh, what is it then? The the they're going to stop the sun getting to us because the sun can kill us. Oh, God, they're so thoughtful. Hey, they're all out for our protection, these guys. They're just the best. They are unreal. Oh. Seriously. So, you got to love this. Man, you got to love these globalists. They just think of us all the time. You know, so thoughtful, so loving. Amanda, you'd be happy with that because you burn pretty easy in the sunlight, Amanda. They're looking <laughs> after you, mate. Oh, I want to hope so. The last time it looked like they were looking after me, it got a lot hotter. <laughs> <laughs> I ended up a lot more burnt. I, I, hey, I've still, got a, I've still got a scab on the back of my hand from it. You see that discolour? Oh, yeah. Unreal. Hey. Uh, no yeah. good. The sun can kill you. Especially as you fly into it. Okay. Yeah. See, I told you. Look, look. We were right all. I'm right all along, you guys. Five thousand cases of Southern Adele set death syndrome. Sad. Oh. Doctors are trying to determine why young people are suddenly dying. Facts, Matt. I told you there was something going on out there. Now these guys, like, this is the Epoch Times. I love it. How many young One people? Shot, just two shot. Three shot. Yeah. Four. I just thought what maybe shots. What are you drinking, Amanda? Are you, Amanda, are you having shots in the background while we're live? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, we found out no. there's something going on. Guys. Couldn't see nothing there, mate. That's all no, good. there was nothing. There was nothing at all. Nothing. I'm not doing nothing. Okay. Well, there's something going on. <laughs> These doctors here are trying to determine why young people are just suddenly dying, mate. That's, so, that's, I don't know. Hasn't that always happened? Don't these young people just die all the time normally? Oh, well, obviously they do. No, I'm not no. hearing about it. Oh, my no, mate's I'm, pretty maybe it's not putting it out. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling kind of great considering I'm in that age gap. But, hey, look, dose one, dose two, dose three, dose four. How many doses till they fell to the floor? Right. Well, with that, imagine if you had, imagine if you had to do four dunas in a day. Oh no, that'd be terrible. Well, I wonder what it's, if you're putting pillow cases on your pillows. Is that so? Like this? Uh, that's of, class to the duna, I reckon. Well, that's fluffy. Yeah, you gotta go like that with the pillow sometimes to get it in. That could kill you. For sure. Yeah, but they could have gotten extra happy in the shower too, in I think, multiple ways. I think we need to put that one on the next show, Glenn. And yeah, just oh. just make people aware of the pillows. The pillow is a fatal thing as well, mate. Yeah, it's a oh, lethal weapon. So. That pillow. It's a duty of care, I believe, to tell people. You know. Hey. Yeah. It okay. Is. It is. What everyone is. can get is okay. if your body Sudden temperature gets up. Stop. So here's another publication, different publication, and they're saying the same thing that um, 
sudden adult death syndrome. Doctors are baffled why many young people suddenly, um, maybe we ring these guys. I don't know. I don't know. There's something going on out there, guys. Something's happening. Look, this is too much. What has happened at all? Like, well, I can't think of anything. No. Nah. Okay, well, someone said we should maybe send this film clip to a current affair and see if they could have a look and work it out for us, if they know of anything that's going on out there that could cause these problems. Yeah, they should do a story on it. I can't see why they wouldn't do a story on this. Can you? Oh, no, and Dan no. Tilders. Dan, you're on the ball, mate. He's just given a, a global warning, a global alert. What about fluffing your pillow and doona on a hot night? Don't do Dan, it. Dan, you're playing right. with pop, bro. You need to gently, with as minimal movement as humanly possible, get yourself out from underneath and onto the top and make sure that you have literally nothing on your body because you can't move ever again. <laughs> and count your breaths while you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, and don't breathe too deeply. Don't laugh. Don't hyperventilate. Don't get scared. Do not blink and do not leave your light on. And make sure whatever you do, do not eat healthy or exercise. Or fart. You forgot the fart. <laughs> <laughs> or have a shower. Okay, well. Or go out in the sun. As we've got 18,000 18, global cases. Who advises in monkeypox? This is they advise that we reduce our sex partners. So the World Health Organization estimates between 5 million and 10 million doses of the V will be needed to protect all high-risk groups from the uh, monkey V outbreak. So uh, there you go. People, there's something going on with monkeys. Something going on with monkeys out there too. I don't, is there, yeah, is there monkeys like got loose or so, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I know some people are like monkeys. So they hang on to one branch till a better one comes along. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can I, I don't know I've seen some video clips of people walking around in some pretty monkey like get up so maybe I've seen condition. this guy in a monkey like get up actually he's standing in a bar <laughs> he can take all of my doses of the V and tell me how he feels at the end of it yeah okay yeah, yeah he can take yours now, too Glenn yeah yeah. Now, New York Post has put out that rockets falling from the sky might kill you soon. Astronomers warn. So um, there's a new study published in Nature Astronomy, and it's warned of an estimated 10% risk globally that a free-falling rocket will kin kill someone yeah. within 10 years. I always thought that was the case. I always thought that these rockets could fall any time. So How about this? <laughs> How about this? Brainwave, guys. Brainwave. Maybe if there's those kinds of statistics and percentages, we just don't fire rockets into the fucking sky. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> well, one would think or at least put a parachute on them, you know? Like, if it comes down, it comes out a bit slower. I don't know. Like... <laughs> oh. Wow. All right, so like, the common sense is in that comment. intelligence is turning out racist and sexist so oh, now we got wonder why yeah i wonder mm. why mm. don't they learn off the people that use them and the only people that use them are the work people that buy what the government say so they're of course ones. it's turning out racist and sexist they're the first people to point out racism and sexism <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, the deflation we are likely to see and it can kill us exactly right you know, that they're part of the ethnic what do you want you know Okay, so this is why the snowflakes are melting. So astronauts oh. shouldn't be masturbating in zero gravity, NASA scientists say, and this is because um, definitely not. Maybe the sperm, the sperm could enter one of the female astronauts, and she may become pregnant in space. <laughs> yep. I'd like to know the story behind this one. <laughs> I knew you. I knew they got it all covered. I knew you knew the truth behind that, Guru. Yep. <laughs> Film just for this experiment. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, did NASA have this secret poor collection of this is what we've attempted with our astronauts in space? Well, they had <laughs> the CIA possible? file to pick from. They had Hunter Biden's laptop. I reckon they had a good library, don't you? It's I feel so. 
Oh my god. I feel sorry for the poor clients. Like, I have no idea what they're in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so here no we go, guys. Just floating. All right, this, this is a finish the show off, all right? So pigs can breathe through their buttholes and so <laughs> can you. Trying to say. So I ain't giving you CPR again. If you go down, brother, I can tell you I ain't kissing your ass, brother. Well, you know what? You know what, Guru? There's a new way of snorkeling that's come out now then. You know when a sleepy one goes into full on suck. You can say you're hitting down all day then. You can see what you're doing through your goggles and your butts in the air, you're breathing. It's all, oh, the all right, guys. All right, Amanda. <laughs> Amanda, Glenn, uh, the producers behind the show, thanks for coming in, guys. We just wanted to give you a laugh tonight, okay? And I think we've done that, all right? So, um, as I said, get out, have a comment, share the shit out of this, get this out. This will, People will have a crack at this, all right? And it'll get them thinking, okay? And that was the idea of it, to put out something different. Um, so... Yeah, whack it out there, share it around for us, get out, get the conversations going on the weekend, all right, talk loudly so people can hear and talk sensibly, okay, about what's going on. All right, yeah. guys, stay in the studio, we'll have a chat. Thanks for coming in, dudes. See you, guys. See ya.